Hey guys, this is Ron. This is a real quick video on the CCNA exam, some of the things you might do to get ready for it. So CCNA, we're talking about this associate level here in the Cisco certification hierarchy. So this is CCNP uh, and CCIE. Okay. Now this is CSENT and you may, may or may not actually hit this level. It depends on uh, which test you end up taking for your CCNA certification. If you notice down here, there's an 802 exam, and there's an 822 and an 816 exam. What they've done is you can either take ICND 1 and 2 as a part of one exam, or you can break them out into two different exams. This allows you to kind of focus on a smaller area in preparing for your exams, but again, you're going to sit for two tests. Okay, so the 822 exam, once you pass that, you'll get your CSENT or your entry level certification. And then once you uh, pass 816, uh, you'll be granted your CCNA. The 802 exam uh, has uh, the same amount of questions as one of these tests. Uh, but again, you have a larger pool uh, that they can pull questions from. So uh, it makes it a little bit more difficult uh, when you study. Now, if you feel confident, like I did, uh, you'll take the 802 exam. Uh, if you're kind of new to it or you uh, don't want to risk or whatever, you can take the, the two exam method. You're not gonna, there's no real difference in cost in, in doing one or the other. Uh, you'll end up paying about 300 bucks uh, when it's all said and done. So if we look a little bit into the 802 exam, you'll find that it's a 90-minute test. And it's 45 to 55 questions. Okay, in there you'll have uh, you know three to five labs uh, that you'll have to complete uh, with all the the different questions that you're doing. Now the interface is is kind of generic. I felt uh, like I jumped back into the 80s uh, when I sat for the test. I thought it thought it was quite uh, uh, it was a little frustrating. I, I I didn't like it at all, but it is what it is. If you look uh, a little bit lower, you'll find a little bit about the exam, some of the topics. If you sign up for a, an account here on uh, Cisco's website, uh, it's a free account. You can look up the actual exam topics. And, and I recommend going through there and bouncing your training off of those exam topics so that you know that you're training for uh, the current uh, 802 uh, objectives. So if we look here, the, the exam topics are going to kind of break down, okay, you need to be able to do this, and then it breaks it out a little bit more. So you can kind of work through this whole sheet here uh, of all the different stuff that you need to learn along the way as you're studying for your CCNA. Once you feel confident that you're ready for the test, you'll end up signing up for an account on Pearson View. They're a, a testing center. So you sign up for the account. You'll find a test center in your area. You'll choose the uh, the exam that you're going for, in, in this case the 802 exam, uh, and then you'll go ahead and, and schedule it and pay for it. Okay. Then on the day, you'll show up at the testing center, sign in, uh, hand over all, your, all the stuff you got in your pockets basically and go and sit for the test. Okay. Now, in order to study for it, there's a couple different methods that you can use. Uh, Cisco has a networking academy that has a couple different classes uh, and this and that that they've kind of put together for their, their different certifications. So you can kind of look in your area. Uh, so for this is for my area. The different places that, that are holding uh, their classes and, and what classes they're, they're offering. Okay, so that's one method that you can use, uh, and I don't really have costs for these because I haven't really personally looked into it uh, that deeply. Uh, I have, uh, I've been doing you know Cisco for a little while. Uh, I ended up purchasing my own equipment, so I have routers and switches at the house. Uh, so I didn't feel like I needed uh, to spend the money to go to one of these. Plus, I just don't have the money. Anyway, so another method that you can choose. And I've had quite a few friends do this, and they usually only can do it if uh, you know their work pays for it. Because these these kinds of courses are expensive. I mean, this is thirty six hundred bucks. But a boot camp is is a great way uh, to prepare for your exam. Now, I will say that you need to be prepared before you go to a boot camp. You need to make sure you have a good foundation, uh, or it's going to be like drinking from a fire hose, and you're going to you're, you're going to waste your time and your money. 
most of the guys I know that take the, the boot camps have already done studying on their own. They're really just about ready to take the exam. So they'll take the boot camp, uh, and most of these boot camps come with a free exam voucher. Uh, so as soon as they're done with the boot camp, they go schedule their tests and take it. All right. This is a very intense uh, five-day course or you know whatever they're offering. Now, I'm not saying uh, you have to go out to Global Knowledge. There's a couple different companies that do it, but this is just one that, that, that I know of that, that's in my area. Okay, very intense course, but good courses. Uh, you just need to make sure you're prepared before you go or you're going to waste your time and you're going to waste your money. The method that I chose, because uh, I'm a little bit cheaper and I don't have $3,600 to spend, is I went and bought a book. And then I also went out and bought uh, hardware. I've got, like I said, Cisco routers, switches, and this and that to do the, uh, to do the practice exams or the, you know, the different simulations. So... Uh, I'm not selling on Todd's books, but this is a book that I used. I thought it was great uh, for the CCNA test. There are other other authors out there, other uh, publishing firms. You you can choose what what uh, what you feel is uh, the right course, but uh, thought this book was a good one. Now, if you don't feel like you're ready to just jump into a CCNA course, maybe you're new to computers, maybe you're new to networking, uh, you can uh, kind of baby step it a little bit. You can do uh, the CompTIA A plus exam. It's going to just do general PC kind of stuff. And then you can also do uh, Network Plus, and that's going to be real generic uh, networks. Uh, you know, IP talking about IPs, talking about the different layouts of networks, you know, this and that. But it's real vendor uh, uh, agnostic. It's 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 not going to be just Cisco or Juniper or what have it. It's really generic. So this will give you a good foundation uh, when you start your CCNA courses. Okay. Then once once you kind of get into the course, you can use other supplemental material. Uh, I like to use the internet. Uh, so places like subnettingquestions.com is great uh, for me to kind of build up uh, uh, my ability to subnet quickly because you're going to need that on the exam. You don't want to waste a lot of time uh, having to figure each one of these out. It should be second nature to you uh, because a lot of times the question isn't specifically asking you to subnet, but you're going to have to subnet to get to the answer. So you want to have this down packed and websites like this are, are a good tool to help you. Uh, also, there are websites like uh, this labs.ccna4u.org. Now, <clears throat> they're not the only ones that have uh, this, but it's it's a pretty cool site. You know, it actually gives you a terminal. It's not a full-on, uh, not all the commands work, but to do the different tasks that they want you to do, it's pretty cool. And they have a couple of different uh, different uh, labs that you can kind of walk through. Other uh, things that you can look at is GNS3. GNS3 is a network simulator or emulator, whatever you want to call it. It's basically going to be virtual routers on your computer that you can kind of connect connect together uh, and configure and do you know your different labs on. Now I will say uh, with GNS3 you actually have to have a Cisco IOS. Okay, uh, If you have them already, great, wonderful. If you don't, they are available on the internet, but I will say downloading them uh, is illegal uh, because Cisco doesn't release them that way. You know, they sell them with their products. So just downloading them is illegal, uh, but I'll let you uh, decide your own morality level. Okay. Now, there are other emulators out there like Packet Tracer. If you notice, uh, I went to a torrent site, and again, I'm not uh, advising you to do the wrong thing, but Packet Tracer is really only available for those of you who who are in an academy class, a Cisco academy class. Uh, for those of us who didn't get a chance to take one or don't have the money to take one, uh, but still want to use Packet Tracer, it is out there if you do the wrong thing. Enough said. Now, Packet Tracer uh, is going to be like GNS3, but it's uh, it's basically built for educational uh, arenas in that you can kind of slow things down, watch packets move from device to device. You know, I've done plenty of videos on it. You can kind of check out uh, the rest of uh, you know my videos and get a good feel for what Packet Tracer has to offer. Uh, you don't have to have a Cisco IOS here, uh, but in doing that, not all the commands are supported. Now, lastly, I'll talk about uh, sites like NineTut.com. These are great sites for studying. I will say though, do not 
come to sites like this and memorize questions and memorize answers. Okay, that you're, you're totally defeating the purpose of studying for your CCNA exam if you're here just to get the cert. Okay, you want to actually learn the material, and by coming to sites like this and just memorizing questions and answer. Again, uh, I'm not as an employer. I wouldn't hire you uh, if you have the cert but don't know how to do the stuff. You know what I'm saying? But a site like this is good for uh, getting a feel for how the questions are going to be worded to an extent. And it just kind of gives you, uh, takes a little bit of the exam edge off. Now, they do provide some explanations in this and that. Uh, if, you f if a question reads kind of weird to you, I will make sure you research it. And don't just trust their answers on uh, this and that because you'll find at the bottom there's a lot of people that write in that disagree with some of their answers uh, and so I can't speak to if these are actually right uh, I found the majority of them uh, to be spot on with the training that I did um, but I wouldn't rely solely on their answers and again do not just come here to memorize questions and memorize answers you're defeating the whole purpose of studying for the CCNA and, and actually getting certified so that's pretty much it. That's kind of what I wanted to cover. I uh, hope you have a better feel for what uh, the CCNA exam is all about and uh, some of the things that you can do uh, to study for it. So uh, thanks for watching.